Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us for our news broadcast of the Fragile X Mental Retardation Protein. In today's news story, we will go in depth to describe what Fragile X Syndrome is and what are the characteristics of a person diagnosed with Fragile X. We will then go on to report on the FMR1 gene that codes for the Fragile X Mental Retardation Protein and dive deeper into the protein's biochemical properties and its structure while analyzing different domains of the protein. Fragile X syndrome is a genetic disease that is a common cause of intellectual disability and autism. About one of every 4,000 males and one of every 8,000 females has a Fragile X syndrome. Before we get on to our main headline news about the Fragile X mental retardation protein, let's talk about the gene that codes for this protein, the FMR1 gene. FMR1 stands for Fragile X mental retardation 1. The X stands for the X chromosome where the gene FMR1 is located. The reason why it is called fragile, because if you were to look at the chromosome under a microscope, the site of the mutation looks fragile. FMR1 is found in every cell in the body. The protein it makes is essential for brain development. If there is a mutation of the gene, then it makes too little or no FMRP. Thus, the brain does not develop properly. The underlying cause of Fragile X is an expansion of a CGG trinucleotide in the 5' prime untranslated region of FMR1. There is a repeat expansion, so there are a bunch of CGG repeats, which is caused by slipped mispairing. The promoter of the Fragile X mental retardation protein gets confused when copying a repetitive sequence. The promoter loses its place among the CGG repeats and goes back to recopy what it already just copied. In most people, the CGG site is non-methylated. As a result, the cell can use the FMR1 gene when there is a need for FMRP. In people who do have Fragile X syndrome, the cell is unable to copy the information in the FMR1 gene. Since an mRNA copy is not made, FMRP will not be synthesized. Having more than 230 CGG repeats sets in motion methylation of part of the FMR1 gene. This methylation stops the synthesis of FMRP and the absence of FMRP causes Fragile X syndrome. Fragile X syndrome is caused because people with the disease don't make the Fragile X mental retardation protein, FMRP. FMRP is a RNA binding protein to regulate a substantial portion of the mRNA population showing selective binding to about 4% of the neuronal transcriptome. FMRP is predominantly found in the cytoplasm and is a multi-domain protein. The specific domain that you see here is the N-terminal domain which is involved with multiple interactions. FMRP is abundant in neurons and is involved in nuclear export, stability, and localization of mRNAs and dendrites. FMRP has a complex functional cycle. After its synthesis in the cytoplasm, the protein moves into the nucleus and associates with several other proteins and with RNAs. It is then exported back to the cytoplasm where it is detected in the context of the large ribosome containing RNP particles that migrate along the dendritic axes to reach the neural synapses. Lack of functional FMRP leads to abnormal synapses. The full-length FMRP is a 632 residue multi-domain protein. The amino acid sequence of the protein revealed a nuclear localization signal known as NLS, a nuclear export signal known as NES, and three RNA binding domains, KH1 and KH2, as well as a C-terminal RGG box. The RGG box is very significant in FMRP. The RGG box is an arginine-glycine-glycine -glycine complex that binds to RNA to form stable complexes. Deletion of the RGG box leads to the failure to transition FMRP to cells. Originally, the RGG box was thought to bind RNA non-specifically and simply increase the affinity of already bound RNAs. However, recent studies of quadruplexes show that they are extremely widespread and such structures are functionally implicated in mRNA stability, translational repression, and alternative splicing. A common question about FMRP is that why can't we just insert the protein into someone who is lacking it? It's more complicated than that. Even if we injected that person with lots of FMRP, it would not help. FMRP needs to be present in the right cells at the right time in the right amount. The KH domains in FMRP are a widespread 45 to 70 amino acid sequence involved in RNA binding. X-ray diffraction studies of the KH1 and KH2 domains of FMRP revealed isoleucine to be located in the hydrophobic core of KH2. A rare case of Fragile X was characterized by a single missense mutation in isoleucine in the KH2 domain of FMRP, highlighting the importance of the KH domains and thereby implicating RNA binding as a crucial function of the protein. The tertiary structure consists of a beta sheet composed of three antiparallel beta strands adjacent to three alpha helices. Overall, both KH1 and KH2 consist of two parallel core beta strands, beta 1 and beta 2, that sandwich the antiparallel beta strand. Since isoleucine is buried in the interior of the protein, this residue is unlikely to directly participate in ligand interaction. Crystal structure analysis indicated that the isoleucine mutation caused stress 
to the tertiary structure and render the protein unstable. In the crystal structure of FMRP, KH1, and KH2, the linker between the two domains has one residue, which is glutamine, so as you can see here. This separates the last alpha helix of KH1 and the first beta strand of KH2. The KH1 domain in FMRP has a relatively short alpha-3 helix. These structural features may impose some degree of rigidness on the relative orientation between the two KH domains. And on to our next story, at the University of Rochester, there is ongoing research on the inhibition of the nonsense-mediated mRNA. Dr. Lynn McQuad is currently doing research on NMD, which stands for nonsense-mediated mRNA decay. NMD surveys all newly synthesized mRNAs during a pioneer round of translation. NMD is hyperactivated in Fragile X syndrome, and Dr. Lynn McQuad and her team are working to understand the mechanism of inhibiting NMD. Current therapies for Fragile X syndrome focus on treating the symptoms associated with the syndrome. One form of therapy to manage various behavioral symptoms are the usage of selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors and antipsychotics. Other forms of treatments include speech therapy, customized educational plans, behavioral interventions, and ensuring a structured environment.